welcome back to another video guys in which we are going to be heading out onto the ocean i've got a new build for you here this is my wildlands build and yeah that's right the bard is out and the arcane focuser is in so let's go over it starting out with cartography this is like your ocean build increase damage take less damage increase spyglass very good stuff for the ocean uh, we've got necromancy this is our you know mage damage uh, spell timing all that good necro ability stuff pain spike of course so good on a ship uh, we've got Evaluating Intelligence, this is just straight up Majory damage. Uh, we've got uh, Majory of course at 100. Focus, this is a new skill guys, this is going to increase your charge spell chance as well as increase your mana refund cap. And if you have a high aspect and you're using wrestling like I am, that's you basically just get like free mana, it's awesome. And you really don't have to do anything else other than just have the skills. Uh, okay, so next we have Arcane and Wrestling. Um, Arcane's bound by Wrestling, so they have to be the same number. Uh, you know, like Arcane can only be as effective as your Wrestling skill. So therefore, these are the same level, and they're 80, so I have access to the Codex. Now these could be 90-90 if you wanted to be like slightly more tanky and have like a little bit more of an Arcane boost, but I wanted some damage and I realized that, okay, well I'm going to be using a Vanquishing Staff now, so item ID actually gives me quite the bonus at just 20 skill, it's nice. I think it's like in between like 5 and 8%, something like that. Uh, so yeah, I'm using the Vanquishing Staff. Now these are going for anywhere from like 15 to 30k, uh, so yeah, I mean, you know, they can you can get deals on them, but you know, they're not too expensive. Uh, and that is very important to be using a good staff on this build, you want to have that spell damage. Um, so now let's talk about Majory. We've got our Majory Codex, our Wizard's Grimoire here. Of course, we're going to have three in Create Food, uh, two in Magic Arrow now, two in Harm, and of course we're going to ignore Fireball because that has a spell delay, and that's just like a 30 second delay, no good. Uh, Lightning, of course, we've got two in there, and we've got three in Mass Curse, that's so we can debuff and have higher Majory damage. And of course the Bread and Butter, Meteor Swarm and Lightning, Chain Lightning. You're going to want to have those maxed out. Okay, now let's take a look at the other codex here. Um, I'm going with Leech and Drain. This is the Arcane Codex. And, you know, I, this is, uh, I still haven't even maxed it out yet, and this is good enough. Like, I never run out of mana at this point. Um, I don't have Leyline unlocked, and I'm not going to be using Leyline too much, because if you summon a follower, it disables your abilities, unfortunately. And you are going to need a follower to mitigate damage on the ocean but only for like the ships that have very dangerous and large amounts of crew. So you can use Leyline and Sea King and Soulfire if you don't have any followers and you're fighting just like, you know, large ships. It's pretty much they're, they're not going to be a threat to you with no follower. Um, okay, let's talk about the aspect. So we've got Madness Aspect now. Madness seems like the only aspect now to me because it's so good. And um, I've got the scripts worked out to where the, the damage that you take is just nothing. It's, it's no big deal. So um, when I was level zero, tier zero, this was like good. <laughs> like, I was like, whoa, I'm doing a lot of damage. Uh, now that I'm tier 10, it's like, it does more damage than the Bard at this point, And uh, it's only got, you know, more to go. So very good aspect, uh, pricey, but you know what? It's worth it, guys. Might as well, might as well start building towards madness because that's going to be good for a long time. Um, okay, then we've got our chain down here. Uh, this is a very advanced chain. It's 30-30, full gold. Um, guys, you do not need this. This is just going to... Uh, it's just speed at the end of the day, like I said in my last video. But if you're building this, I would start with ship cannon damage and damage on ships. And that's going to be more important than the crew member damage resistance. But I decided to take the uh, damage resistance here because in Wildlands, your crew takes so much more damage now. It's like brutal. So if you're fighting like a lizard man ship in the line, you're going to need some damage mitigation. And uh, so long as you have this and you're using the ability Hold Fast, um, your crew is going to be just fine. Now you could replace this with, with a lot of different things, but as far as my testing went, um, I, at first I was like, oh, I just want more damage. And then I realized that, you know, this damage on ships is like the best damage that you can get for the ocean. And everything else on top of that just was very underwhelming. Uh, I'm not sure if that's like a bug or maybe something needs to be looked at there, but any more damage I added to this just didn't really seem to manifest on the ocean when I'm fighting. So I decided to go with the damage resistance. Um, now, finally, for the character, let's take a look at my loadout. See, I'm just running with some extra healing regs there. 
And uh, yeah, we've got like our spyglass, we've got our, uh, our mushrooms, we've got some potions there, we've got our bombs, we've got our, our, all our good ocean stuff. Now we've got a lot of explosion potions now, guys. So the scripts that I'm going to be using now make use of explosion potions automatically. Uh, so that's very nice. We've got our Verhide armor there and our Verhide pouch. And of course our, uh, um, just, just th these fishing guys, I don't have any fishing, but this is just for societies. And we've got some food, don't forget your food guys. Very important to eat that for mana regen. And of course our explorers pack. Okay, and lastly guys, let's take a look at my ship. Uh, this ship is a, is a galleon and it is a regular cooldown cannon damage focused ship. Uh, so as far as upgrades go, <coughs> we have uh, all these good things here. Uh, you'll see this in the demonstration, how these all work together. Uh, glass cannon, special powder keg, icebreaker, hold fast. Hold fast, so good now, like just so good. Uh, we've got luck, this is kind of a unique one. Uh, rally, rum rations for healing, and swift reload for, yeah, just uh, kind of chaining combos together. And you, know, you will see that in action soon. Uh, destroyer this is cannon damage mostly we've got exceptional powder cannon damage smoke bombs this is regular cooldown and wake plus some other cooldown so yeah that's what i'm running there and as far as my crew goes crew's pretty damn good um it could, always your crew can be better but like i said guys i'm running that cannon damage regular ability cooldown and yeah so just trying to squeeze out as much cannon damage as i, I can and then um it seems to me guys that powder monkeys are literally just the best in the game now because you know ships got a buff with uh their hit points and yeah i'm i'm using the powder monkeys because yeah that makes me farm really fast when all i need is one bomb to sink a, a ship of the line kind of thing you might need a little more than on a ship of the line it really depends on how the fight goes but yeah there's my monkeys i've got a gunner i would replace this gunner as soon as I can find a monkey that has the same amount of cannon damage as this guy, he's out and the monkey's in. Yeah, the monkeys are just super good now. Uh, they're, they're selling for quite a bit. I still think they're a little bit undervalued. I'll tell you right now real quick, guys. I got this one for $6 million, And I feel like that could sell for... I probably would have paid $10 million for it, guys, <laughs> to be honest with you. <laughs> Let's not tell too many people that. Don't rip me off. <laughs> okay. Anyway, guys, that's the build. Uh, oh, one last thing I'm going to mention here, guys. Because we're running Arcane and we're on a ship, we can take advantage of these Arcane runes. And wow, are they ever good now. <laughs> okay. So this little Arcane rune gets boosted by your Arcane skill now. And when you put it on a ship, it sticks with you. It goes it goes where you go. So you get a mobile Arcane rune. It is too good. Um, also, guys, these runes have been redone for Wildlands, and they're all very good now. Uh, some of them you might not want to use on a mage, but... Uh, yeah, if you just kind of go through them, I mean, they're just, they're all very good. You can use the immunity, you can use the mana, you can basically use them all. Stack your ship up, guys. Okay, that's it for the build, so let's head on out there and do a demonstration. All right, and we are out on the ocean here. We'll do a quick little demo on the build, and as I go through this, I'm just going to be sort of shouting out the scripts that I'm using. And guys, stay tuned for the full detail installation and breakdown of all the scripts I'm using. So right now the master background's going and I'm in peace mode on my ship. So it's just gonna handle all my healing and my spy glassing and all that good stuff. So let's go kill this pirate ship of the line. I'm gonna start with accuracy. I'm gonna hit him with an icebreaker because you gotta take these ships seriously. They are quite large. I'm gonna use my set last target uh, script to grab his hamburger bars there. And the way I like to do this, so I'll switch to sails right after and I'm gonna be using my lucky powder keg script. <coughs> As soon as those cannons are ready to fire, I'll shoot them. And there we go. Pretty good damage so far. We should be on in three shots here. So I'm going to use Hold Fast now as they shoot. And I'm going to fire my regular cannons again. And I should be able to get on here. So I'll, yep, play the Armageddon script now. <clears throat> it's going to Telekinesis. It's going to Mass Curse. It's going to um, Chain Lightning. It's going to tell me where to get my position ready so I move into the center mass it's gonna meteor swarm it's gonna explosion potion <laughs> it's literally gonna do all this stuff before I can even say it uh, and that's gonna go into major routines at this point it's playing master background now because it finished its uh, heavy volley and once it pain spikes that means the Armageddon's over I'll just start looting as it's finishing up here and uh, yeah master background starts playing again and you'll notice I'm on an enemy ship and I'm in war mode you want to stay in war mode when you're on an enemy ship 
because that is going to allow you to automatically loot their hold. That's what Master Background does. It's also going to be healing you and glassing. And yeah. So what I like to do is I like to play my Bomb Dropper script, which loops back into Master Background and keeps me in war mode. And then I walk up to the hold and uh, take the stuff as the bomb ticks down. And then we leave. Now, I'm going to place two bombs because that's a big old ship. Sometimes you can get away with one bomb if you have a lot of powder monkeys, but I would have had to do more hull damage. All right, so there's that ship. Now, let's see if we can find something a little harder. All right, guys, we've got a submerged long ship up here, so let's take that one out. I did forget to eat my food, so I'll just eat that there. Important that you eat your food. Clear the fray, we'll start a little repair. And my cooldown is just about ready. I don't need this greater cooldown for the long ship, so I'm just gonna go with the Lucky Powder Keg. I'm just gonna go straight up for the sails. And depending on RNG, we we might need to use it sometimes. Sometimes you get bad RNG. But yeah, we're just gonna keep on plugging away at him. So he's, he's doing more, like the, this damage got split a little bit too much, unfortunately. So I may need to use that grater. Uh, we'll just uh, we'll just hang out. Let's see what the next one does. All right, that was three shots. That was really bad. All right, guys, so we got some very bad luck on that one. I'm gonna switch to accuracy, and we're gonna hit him with an icebreaker. You can quite often get on these in three shots with with uh, powder keg. Okay, I'm gonna summon a mummy here. You want to make sure when you board a ship uh, that has a lot of crew that uh, you've got a mummy with you. Okay, now we can board. So we'll play our boarding script. It's going to do the same thing. The ultimate Armageddon. I'm going to place myself in the middle. Now you do got to be a little bit aware of what you're fighting. Some stuff does a lot of AoE, and once you're just done that original volley, just back up a little bit. Let all that stuff die. And then we'll go back in. Start looting. Uh, I did forget to use hold fast, guys, so my crew has taken way more damage than it should have. But, you know, we're just chilling. Just wait. Stuff should be dead pretty quick. We'll just loot as it's finishing killing. And there we have it. That was a submerged long ship down. Get all that good loot. Some up here. Now the key with uh, this build is you got to hit everything with your chain lightning to begin with. If you don't, it's going to take longer to clear. Now long ships, of course, they're quite long, and the crew unfortunately can spread out pretty far on them. So be aware of that, guys. And yes, I did uh, take a lot of damage, so we're going to use a rally there. We are going to use that rally. Oops, out of ammo. I'll just finish that ship off there. We'll walk near now that I'm in peace mode back on my ship master backgrounds playing uh, I'm gonna walk near my hold to dump my loot now you'll notice it's not dumping the loot why well because there's a bug and all you have to do to fix this bug is to rotate your ship boom now see it's working now it's working all right now I'm gonna look for a, even, an even tougher ship guys I'm looking for like a hive or a, uh, a lizard man ship so let's look for one of those all right, guys, we've got a Lizardman ship up here. It's not a huge one, but uh, I'll just show you the damage on the Lizardman. We've got a Lizardman Carrick up here. And I'm going to go do that vile ship of the line right afterwards. So I'll just hit him with a lucky powder keg there. I'm going to target his hamburger bars. And I'm just going to back away. Back away just a little bit. I want these guys to group up a little more. And we should be on in three shots with the uh, Lucky Powder Keg. Yes, we are. Should be. Like I could just come over. There he goes. And I'm gonna hit my hold fast. And fire again. And I'll start with the Armageddon script. And the world's saving. Really nice that the world saves. Uh, they pause your scripts now. So that's, uh, yeah, very good. So I'll put myself in the middle, position myself. There goes the chain lightning. Let's grab the bars here. So pretty good damage, you know, 900 to 1,000, 
That's the uh, meteor swarm. And as soon as it's, uh, if, if there's no corpse, it's gonna do another chain lightning. As soon as it finds a corpse, so like once it finds a corpse, you know, like that, it'll we'll just do pain spike. And, uh, just go into its regular major routine. And basically all that stuff's dead. Loot. Now, Margo took a lot of damage there, unfortunately. Sometimes these uh, lizard men they have a way of uh, focusing down your crew, <clears throat> and uh, sometimes they'll just do one crew. Sometimes they'll do two crew. If it's one like that, then yeah, they're gonna take a lot of damage. Even with the crew resistance and even with the hold fast. But it's not too bad. Uh, because, you know, if, if, if it's like an emergency, you can just start healing your crew as you, um, you know, as you're fighting. So this guy needs some healing. Okay, so let's take this guy out with some Lucky Powder Keg. Where'd he go? Long ship. There he is. Okay. There it goes. And I am going to try to do this, group them up by doing this little maneuver here. And I'm using the beta client, so you may notice some interesting little graphic effects. Uh, those are pretty new to me. Okay, I should get on another shot. And our zombies are still good. We do need zombies to board this ship. Okay, we should be on here, so we'll play the... Oof, that's going to be tight. We might not get on. Oh, we got on. Good, good, good. Okay, and then we got to get out of here, because they're going to do a lot of damage to me, so I'm just going to sort of stand over here. That damage come in. And then we'll kind of just position ourselves to not take too much of that AoE. So it does hurt now. And everything's just dying automatically. Healing myself automatically. And uh, the split, you know, not a great split, so it's going to take a little longer to clear this ship, but such is the case for long ships. Okay, I'll we'll just totally move in there. goes that madness damage but as we're looting it's healing us so we don't have to even think about it and let's come get the rest of that loot anything over here yes and you know spy glassing and I'm looking at my spy glass as I'm doing this there goes the bomb and there goes the loot hold loot Give him a shot. I think we might have to shoot that again. Yeah. Uh, you know what? We'll just drop another bomb on it. Get out of there. Alright, so our crew took some damage there, so let's uh, rally him up. And uh, one more big ship. We'd get a nice, huge, like, nasty ship, like a hive ship of the line or something would be good. And one more repair, and now we're gonna go in. So we'll start out with the icebreaker. Oh, what the heck? There's a galleon right beside it. Okay, we're gonna have to maneuver this guy out of here. Well, let's just hit him with that. And we don't want to engage in that ship. So let's make sure we have them all. They're all attacking me, yes. Okay, let's start moving forward. Oh, no, he turned, okay. Here we go. Hit him with the lucky powder keg. Oh, that should be on sales. Oof. Okay, good enough. And they're grouping not the best. We gotta get these guys to come down a bit. And with another shot, so that's three shots in on this guy. I think we're far enough away from that other ship now we can sort of chill. And it looks like one more shot. Should we get one more shot? Is that gonna get us on? Can't quite tell there. Oof, yeah. We'll take one more. Do a hold fast. Fire cannons, and we're gonna play the script. I'm gonna try to put myself on that slimer right there. Oof, and I did lose my. No, 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 no. Right at the last moment, my zombie. You can see what happens when you lose your zombie. It is brutal. Brutal. I'm gonna drink one of those, and that was bad timing. My zombie just. 
Just lost him. Right at the last moment there. Alright, we got him back. He's guarding us. Right. Guard. And let's board this ship now. I want to stand kind of down here. Oof, alright. Well, my chain lightning hit up here. Not the greatest. Missed this group down here. So that is going to cost me some time. And yeah, getting that split correct, it's really an art, you know, it's really an art getting that split so done well. Uh, yeah, that is what really makes us fast, is getting that chain lightning. Uh, that's okay, they're just about dead. Well, they're still the guys up there still. And yeah, not a perfect uh, board there. Kind of screwed that up. So, you know, every time you screw something up, you're going to take more damage. It's just how it is. Yeah, there goes that ship in the line. That should sink it, I think. I'm sure that sinks. Okay. Alright, not too bad. Not too bad. Dude. Crew damage again, not the greatest, so we're going to have to rally there. Such is the nature of fighting ships of the line, guys. Okay, we got a submerged galleon down there. I'm gonna keep looking. I just, I just want to get like a an even tougher ship than that because that was, you know, those ones are kind of weak to be honest. All right, guys, we've got a hive galleon here, so we are going to sail on him into him, and I am gonna start a repair as we move in. Good practice to do that. That's you get basically free repair. All right, and this I'm gonna hit him with a icebreaker. And I'm gonna target those hamburger bars. And I'm just gonna move away and let them all group up on the side here. So now I'm gonna also switch the sails after my icebreaker's done. And all nice, group, nice and grouped up there. And we'll hit him with a lucky powder keg. And we're doing pretty good damage there, so we should be on next shot. Therefore, we will hold fast just before we're about to board. Tank that last shot. We'll shoot our regular cannons and play the boarding script, which is Ultimate Armageddon. And here we go. And let's position ourselves in the middle. Now, these guys do do AOE damage, so once that flame, uh, once the uh, AOE is done, just feel free to move away just a little bit. There goes the damage. Very nice damage. A lot of damage. And because there's no corpses yet, it's going to attempt to do another volley of chain lightning, unless something dies. And yep, one more volley. And that should do it. Everything's basically death sentenced at this point. Because we've got the uh, strangle ability enabled. And we're just going to work our way over here and loot the corpses. E treasure map. Cleaning up as we're looting. Getting that nice time minimization going. Grab these here. So yeah guys, that is uh, Madness Arcane damage. And there goes that shit. That should be enough, but we'll just give it one more shot. Um, I guess, you know, guys, that's going to be about it for the demo. Uh, sunk a lot of ships there. I really just wanted to get a hive or a lizard man, something with like a lot of HP there. So stay tuned for the full script breakdown, guys. All right. And for those of you who wish to install my scripts, I'm going to go over all of that now. So at the start of my scripts, there's going to be a little bit of an information breakdown here. And we want to focus on the XML cooldown file. Now, this is very important for all scripts to work. So you do need to do this. I'm gonna come over to Jason's website here. Link is gonna be in the description. And we want to search for Bathus XML. Pull up the XML script page here and copy the script. Now this isn't gonna go in a razor. However, this does go into your UO directory. So I'll show you how to navigate there. Now this is a pretty deep folder. So we want local disk C, program files 86, Ultima Online Outlands. Then we go classic UO, data, Profiles. Here's your account names. You want to select the account that you're using. And we want to select Outlands, not Test. 
and select your character. So there's my character, and in here is your character data. So what we want is cooldowns. Now if you don't see cooldowns in here, just come over to the game real quick, and we will hit options, come down to cooldowns here, and you just want to make a cooldown. Uh, we also want to make sure that the general settings show cooldown gump is checked. And here you can also uh, adjust the size of your cooldowns. So we'll hit new entry and we'll just put anything in there. Hit, hit uh, yes, apply, okay. And then we'll come on back to our character data folder. And if you still don't see cooldowns here, just back out and come back in. And we will right click cooldowns. We're gonna edit with notepad. Now I've got Notepad++, I recommend this program, it's very nice, but it's just the same as regular Notepad, uh, it does the same things as far as we're concerned here. And so now you can see all my cooldowns in here, if you have nothing in here, you can just at this point just paste in the script, just right click paste, uh, but if you do have stuff just make sure you're not pasting like in between this data here. So what we want to do is, you see the open and the close of an entry here, um, not all of them have uh, open close entries, but we just want to make a little bit of space here and then right click paste okay and then we want to save and exit now at this point the your system may ask you to run notepad in administrator uh, go ahead and run a notepad in administrator in order to save and if you don't know how to do that just google it it's pretty easy to do okay now that that's out of the way we can check out the scripts so now we've got we want to search for bathus ocean link also in the description. Um, exactly like this with an apostrophe as well. So this is gonna bring up my standalone scripts. These are, this is the bank of scripts here that we're gonna be discussing. And uh, all of these can be used by any type of character, except you should uh, keep in mind that the master background and the ultimate Armageddon, they're for mages. Uh, predominantly necro mages, but it'll work with any kind of casting class. Okay, so we'll start off with the ocean launcher. <clears throat> now this one, uh, it's pretty important to, if you want the auto loot function to work, the auto loot ties into the launcher because every time you launch your ship, your ship has like new parts. So there's no way to really kind of, you know, remember those parts. So I'm going to press the button and it's going to look for a dock master. And when it finds one, if, if you have one available, it'll pull up the gump and ask you to select your ship. At this point, you want to just click where you want your ship to go. Now, if you misclick, it's going to just play again, or just, you can just play the script again. And we'll launch the ship. Now it's going to say set my hatch. This is very important. Set my hatch. Okay, you want to click your hatch. Now if, at this point it's going to kick you out of the game just because Razor does this. Uh, it's adding all of your crew to a friends list and you are going to need to come over here and click on your friends list and you want you need to create a friends list called ignore crew. Okay, so we just we uh, create a new one uh, by clicking the plus sign here and then ignore crew and if you look at the script oh sorry if we go back to the script here and da, 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 it's going to tell you at the top create an entry in razor friends tab called ignore crew now this is pretty important because sometimes your crew will turn gray and that's because you'll sail into like the corpse creek area over here or something's going to turn them gray once in a while and you do not want to be targeting your own crew with my scripts while they turn gray. Also, if you have a friend on the seas and you don't want to target their crew, what you can do is uh, just sail up next to them and as you know, as long as their crew is green to you, you can play the launch script again and it's going to search for any kind of friendly crew. Of course, set your hatch again. And yeah, you can add your friends just by playing the launch script again. Okay, next We've got disembark and recall boarding. Now this script attempts to, well, I mean, it does quite well. It, uh, it basically merges a bunch of actions into one single hotkey. So the way I like to do this, I just bind it to a hotkey. I've got, where shall I disembark? Click there, simple, right? And if you want to embark, just press the same hotkey. It's going to embark you to your ship. And now if you've got followers, uh, it's going to, you know, it'll do followers first and then you, and of course, uh, if you're on an enemy ship and your crew's on an enemy ship, it will recall your crew and your followers and the captain all at the same time. Now, some people like to stagger their uh, their uh, sort of, you know, their boarding and crew uh, system. Like, you know, maybe you want like an animal on somebody's ship and you don't want your crew on somebody's ship or you want to recall them uh, kind of just, you know, in a different order. 
Uh, don't use the script if that's what you like to do. Uh, but I like to do that. It just keeps it pretty simple for me. All right, and next we have Master Background. Now this is the, the magnum opus. This is the big boy. And you would have seen this basically constantly playing in the demonstration. Uh, so yeah, like I said in the demonstration, we've got the peace mode, we've got the war mode, and uh, yeah, all that good stuff. So refer to the demonstration for all of what that does. And yeah, just keep in mind guys that it is designed for necromancers. And there is a little bit of a, where did it go here? Master background. A little bit of uh, information here for you to go over. Like it talks about this phase shift from offensive to defensive. Like I said, war mode on, war mode off. There's also a, um, I guess another phase shift I'm calling. So it's like, I've, I've got this Atlas thing where you can change the targeting scheme. Um, yeah, I wouldn't say you really ever really need to do this, but just in case, if you want, you know, uh, it's gonna always be default multi-target. So that means it's gonna target like everything within range uh, and just sort of like randomly you know, cast on creatures, which works very good. But if you want to single that out into just one creature, just click your atlas over here, and you can create an atlas just by typing atlas in game. And it's going to change the single target. So this will just focus on one target and one target only. I only really use this on bosses. Um, and when I had a bard going, this was a, I used this a little bit more just to like switch from like AOE bard to direct discordance barding. Uh, but yeah, I don't really use it that much anymore, but it's it's still there you know, and it's gonna tell you once in a while which one's enabled I would just leave it on multi-target if you're a regular mage Okay next we have Swift reload and lucky powder keg. So these are uh, highly specific scripts to my setup and you'll notice that uh, Well, it's, you know, you, you've seen them in the demonstration, but I'll just real quick We've got uh, I don't think I actually had any I don't think I needed to load that, so I'll just fire a shot. Um, when you use this script, it's just going to use swift reload, and then it's going to reload your cannons, and then create a cooldown. So I'll just wait for that. I'll show you. I did create a false positive cooldown there, but it does okay. You can just press the button again. So there you go. Swift reload, fire away. Uh, and yeah, in order to get this to work, um, it has to, swift reload has to be in this spot right here. It has to be in the lower auxiliary slot and you're gonna see in here uh, swift reload and lucky powder keg they're gonna tell you right here so swift reload must be placed in the secondary auxiliary slot bottom row if you know how to edit scripts you can change that uh, all you like but that's just sort of the that's the setup that I found works pretty good uh, same with lucky powder keg let's just check that one all right, so that was Swift Reload, so Lucky Powder Keg. It's gonna tell you the same thing right here. So Luck must be placed in the second lesser ability slot, and Powder Keg must be placed in the regular ability slot, top row. And of course, that looks just like this. So we got Luck down here. If Luck were up here, it just wouldn't work. It would, it would trigger whatever's in here. And then we got Powder Keg there. Okay. So, next up, we have Simple Skinner. This one's just like, totally just it's very it's just a skinning script that loops back into master background so um, everything I do on the ocean I want to loop back into my master background script so therefore there's a very simple script here um, you may like the new function of uh, auto open corpses that uh, the cl client now has so that's just a you know little basic skinner all right and so manual override this is uh, you would have seen this a lot in the demonstration uh, very simple it's uh, you know, it's just a, a stronger set last target, and like I said, I, I use this to target the hamburger bars of all the enemy ships that I'm fighting. And yeah, it just uh, allows you to prioritize your targets for auto-fire, so you can sort of force a priority target. Alright, now we have repair. <clears throat> just a very simple repair uh, script. I see a lot of people using uh, gumps to repair, those are pretty good too. Um, this one's kind of just the same thing, except you press a button. And it's going to start repairing. It's always going to start with guns, but just keep in mind, guys, if you ever want to switch in the middle of repairing, you can just simply switch by clicking. That was repairing guns, but it's going to repair the hull. There you go. And it's also going to pull this uh, gump back up so that if you want to click again, it's just going to be there for you. So that's a pretty simple script. Next, we have 
Uh, reload cannons. Okay, this one's also very simple. And all this really does is just reload your cannons and creates a cooldown. So, do we need a reload right now? We don't. Um, we'll just do that. You'll notice my uh, cannon script there, also called a cooldown. And, uh, we'll talk about that in just a sec. So we will hit the reload. There it is. And yeah, it just says reloading. And if you hit this again, it's going to say reload. But it'll say cannons fully loaded before it's done. That's just because your cannons technically are fully loaded, but they just can't be fired. Alright, so... Real cannons and bomb dropper. This one, you would have seen me drop this drop bombs on decks. It's very simple. It just double clicks a bomb in your pack and uh, and then it loops back into the master background. It does turn war mode on because I'll mention, guys, with master background, it uh, assumes that you, uh, when you're on your ship, that you're in peace mode, and then when you're on an enemy ship, you're in war mode. Now, of course, you can you can go into war mode on your own ship and it will start all those good uh, necromancy majory routines and you can use that to fight bosses. And, uh, you know, MIBs and special fishing nets, all that stuff. It's fishing spots. Okay, so, bomb dropper. Now we've got the auto target normal cannon fire. Um, this one is, uh, yeah, pretty simple. You would have seen me use it quite a lot. And yeah, it is just that. You just press the button. If there's no ships around, it's going to ask you to manually target where you want to fire. And I didn't click in the range of my cannons there, so it's going to tell me to do it again. And there you go, create the cooldown. Okay, next we have Sea Buff for Mage. So this one, oh yeah, this one's also for Mages. So obviously Dexters, you don't want to use this one. Uh, but yeah, if you've got Cartography, it's going to use your little camping pack and it's just going to do the, the basic Magery buffs. So we got Reactive Armor, Magic Reflection, we got Bless and Protection. Okay, and next we have Simple Boarding. So this is also just a very, very small, simple script. Um, if you want to hotkey a uh, the ability to board a ship you can do that so if there was a ship here I would just press it and if just like the auto target cannon fire if there's no ship on screen it's gonna ask me to manually target of course if there's nothing it'll just bring this up and that one's pretty simple to use okay so now I've got the ultimate Armageddon now this was the, the you know the, the big deal this is also I guess the second magnum opus these two are you know pretty big scripts and this is again for necromancers but if you're a mage you know you can use yeah, it'll work for mages. It just won't use the necro skills. And uh, yeah, so you've saw, seen that in action. And yeah, that's uh, that's a nice one. That's basically just uh, you know cruise control for the ocean right there. Okay. Uh, now I'll do this deck poisoner last, but uh, or actually no, we'll do the deck poisoner now. Okay. So deck poisoner. Now I did not use this in the demonstration. So I'll show you how that works. So if you are a poison mage, I'm just gonna make sure I have this. Poison, poison enemy deck here. Okay, so it's already set. All right, so let's just go over to a ship here and I'll show you how that works. Now that there's always sort of the off chance that you know, the client can bug and you know, Razor can kind of lose targets and stuff, but for the most part, this works very good. So I'll just grab these guys bars so you can see. I'm gonna press the button once and I'm just gonna sort of sail around their ship a little bit here as I'm you know, targeting them. It's going to automatically poison them all. Look at that. Very nice. And he did move around and you know, works quite good. Works quite good. All right, let's get out of here. Uh, once they're all poisoned, it's going to stop the script. So if you just want to start a repoison, you can do that. And it's not going to poison targets that are already poisoned. So if like one of those guys, you know, uh, is no longer poisoned, just play the script again and it will top up your poison cycle. Okay guys, the last script we have here is the dock and drop. This is real easy. It's just a dock and drop. It's going to do your ship crate and it's going to dock your ship. Now there's one important thing to know about this. Anytime you script near a dock master and you want to use a dock master and you're on a ship, it's likely not going to be loaded into the client. So what, what you should do, and the script will tell you if you play it long enough, it'll tell you disembark and reembark. So we're going to disembark, we're going to reembark. Now the client for sure knows there's a dock master there, and we'll hit our dock and drop hotkey, just like that. And yep, uh, nothing to ship because I didn't kill anything, but if there was something there, it would say uh, ship crate, you know, whatever success. And yeah, that is it for that. So now I have 
another bank of scripts to talk about here, and is, this is Bapith's ship script. So these are all for hotkeying abilities. So we'll search that. Link's going to be in the description below. Now I know this is a lot of scripts, guys, but fear not, you won't be using all these scripts if you want to hotkey your stuff. So uh, you can use a maximum of, of eight of these. Now, why do I say that? Because, well, every ship has eight slots. So these are hotkey slots. Think of these as uh, uh, hotkeys for your ability slots. Now you'll notice that it says bottom row, top row. But now what does that mean? This is the top row, this is the bottom row. When you hotkey stuff, uh, it's set up so that these are called primary, or these are just like your abilities, and these are your secondary abilities. So there's a distinction between like how you call these on a hotkey. So that's all worked out in the scripts. Now, how do you install this? What do you do? Okay, so you're gonna pick eight of these to match what you have here. Now, how this works is, is we have a distinction between offensive and defensive abilities. We have a distinction between top row, bottom row, and we have a distinction between auxiliary and normal. Uh, also, of course, lesser, medium, and greater, lesser, regular, greater. So say I want to install, sorry, oops, I'll bring it on up again. Say I want to install a hotkey for glass cannon here. Well, this is a lesser ability. It's in the top row and it's offensive. It's also not auxiliary, okay? So we come over here, we look for lesser, offensive, top row. Okay, so we've got lesser, offensive, top row. So that's gonna work for glass cannon. We'll click on that, copy script, you know, and put it in your library. And then when you hotkey it, it's going to treat this as an auto cannon fire uh, hotkey. Very nice. Uh, now, you know, you're gonna need a lot of hotkeys, guys. <laughs> so if you don't want to use this, if you don't want to use this, just ignore this and you just use the gumps and click away. But if you want a hotkey, then this is how you do it. So it should be self-explanatory. We'll do a an auxiliary one real quick. So let's try a hold fast here. So we'll do swift reload. So this is a secondary auxiliary passive ability. Okay. So we want to go aux for auxiliary here, and we're looking for a. It's also a lesser and it's on the bottom row, so here it is. So auxiliary, lesser, passive ability, bottom row. And if we install that and make a hotkey for it, it will use swift reload. Um, okay, and just one more, we'll do a, we'll do a um, icebreaker. I'll show you the icebreaker. So this is a greater ability. It is on the top row. It's offensive. It's not auxiliary. Okay, so we are looking for greater ability. That's passive. We want a greater offensive. And we want top row, so that right there, boom. If I install that, make a hotkey for it, it will use icebreaker and ammunition automatically. So guys, I hopefully that is uh, explained well enough that you understand how all that works. And again, link in the description for the banks of scripts. And that'll do it for the script breakdown and explanation. All right, everybody, and that's going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you like the scripts. Those are my gifts to you, my gifts to the world. And uh, yeah, shout out to Jace Owens for hosting the website and allowing me to post my scripts up there. Uh, give him a follow over on YouTube. It's like Jace Owens at YouTube. Uh, you know him. He's in Discord. And uh, guys, one last thing I'm going to mention here. If you like this area and you want to come farm some ships up here, my house is public right now. It may not stay like that permanently, but as for right now, you can come on back here and use my Dockmaster. You're going to want to stand eh, about here, somewhere there. And there he, there he is. So Babbitt loves you, and we'll see you guys next time.